wait for someone to just go have it and launch one into the Mekong River. Good morning. A uh, very early start for me today. It's about quarter to four in the morning. I'm here at Don Wang International Airport again. Uh, this time, the game I'm doing, we're not covering the Thai League today. Uh, I'm on my way to Phnom Penh and that's the capital uh, city of Cambodia. Uh, today's game is Phnom Penh Crown versus uh, Cambodia Tigers. Uh, I've never been to Cambodia before so this is a first for me and obviously this will be the first Cambodian game I've covered. Uh, so I've got a little bit of time to kill until my flight. It's still pitch black outside. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to try and find a shop or something to eat. I'll catch you guys soon. So I found a, uh, a Leicester City shop in duty free. Uh, they also had shirts as well for this Belgian team, OH Leuven. Uh, they're also King Power owned, the same as Leicester. Uh, and uh, interestingly, Nigel Pearson's coaching there at the moment. So I know he got the sack from the Leicester a few years ago, but um, they've given him another job at this Belgian club. So yeah, quite surreal just seeing Leicester merchandise on sale over here in the airports. Uh, no other teams, just Leicester. Got through immigration, um, now getting a tuk-tuk yeah. to the hotel. Yeah, yeah. This is my driver, he speaks oh. a bit of Cockney. I'm good, sir. Welcome. Uh, no? Welcome for you. Welcome to Cambodia. No, I'm from London. Yeah, uh, yeah. May I know your name? Ken. Ken, I'm a good, sir. Nice good. to meet brother. Yeah. Lovely, Lovely jubbly. Yeah. Lovely jubbly, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> good brother. You've been here before. I'm such a plonker. <laughs> Same as Bangkok. It's, it's about 10 to 9 in the morning. I'm just hitting the morning rush hour, which uh, unfortunately seems comparable to a morning rush hour in Bangkok. the traffic coming away from the airport was pretty bad. Um, got stuck behind a road sweeper for ages and then it, because it was rush hour it was just pretty slow uh, coming all the way into Phnom Penh. But I've just checked into my room uh, which is a bonus because I've got here at not even 10 o'clock yet. I don't think check-in was until like maybe lunchtime or two o'clock. Uh, well, they've let me in the room already and I've managed to get quite a good deal on a Godi. I've got a suite for uh, 1,500 bar, which is about 30 quid. But yeah, I've got a pretty big room out of this. Got a four poster bed. Uh, over here, got like a living room area. Again, got four poster sofa. But best of all, if I open this door, ta -da. got a cracking view of the Mekong River. The Mekong River is a pretty big river. It runs through Cambodia, uh, runs through the north of Thailand, and uh, up into Laos as well.
on the Mekong River. I'm doing a little boat tour. I'm going to check out the sunset over Phnom Penh. Um, the boat's just getting moving. I'll put some shots in of the ride as it gets going. Now this is the not so affluent side of the river. That's the very affluent side of the river. Good evening from Phnom Penh. I'm just going to go and check out the night market. Uh, night market here is supposed to be really good. I'm just walking along the banks of the Mekong River now. Uh, should only be about five, ten minutes walk at best. Uh, gives me a chance to have a look along the river as well. It looks quite nice along here. There's uh, kids over here playing tennis. too long they might want me to join in. I will want to see that. Here we are, Phnom Penh Night Market. Uh, maybe I've got here a bit too early, it's only about quarter to six. It doesn't seem to be that many stalls, uh, but I'll have a look around. Hopefully gonna try and score a couple of cheap t-shirts or something. There's a food court at the back of the market. Uh, I'm guessing this is quite a popular place to eat. Uh, rather than, rather than uh, sitting at chairs and tables, you just sit on mats on the floor. Uh, like over this. Okay, job done. Job's a good one. Uh, got me a standard t-shirt. Whenever I go to these countries around this region, I tend to pick up uh, like a beer t-shirt local beer so I've got me the Cambodian Angkor beer t-shirt. Uh, she did try and offer me two t-shirts for five dollars. Uh, one of them was three dollars. Uh, for five bucks she was throwing a second one but uh, some of the other designs they had weren't so great. I mean there was one that just had a big like danger triangle on it. Uh, danger landmines uh, with Cambodia in London. I didn't really think that was too appropriate so uh, I passed her up on that offer and just stuck with one t-shirt. Back to the hotel now and then uh, go out and get some dindins. Hello, it's match day. We are moving, we are on the way to the stadium. Bye, Tuk Tuk. Stadium we got here in the end. So this is the RSN Stadium and tonight's game is Phnom Penh Crown versus
Cambodia Tigers. Uh, it's fourth against six in the Cambodian Premier League. Uh, Cambodia is a smaller country than Thailand, so there's only 12 teams in their Premier League. Uh, stadium's not too bad, actually. It's pretty uh, okay. It's close to the pitch. There's no running track, and there's a big main stand. If I just swing around, yeah, there's a big main stand running all the way down the side of that pitch. Terraces behind the goal, and I'm in this stand here, which is open. Uh, cost to get in was 3,000 real which is Cambodian money. Um, I'll check in a minute because I think that's really cheap. So I'll expect some text at the bottom of the screen to say how much that actually is. But um, yeah, that's insanely cheap. Okay, game's about to kick off. Uh, crowd's pretty low. Maybe about 150 people here at best. That's uh, what I expected, but when I've paid 56p to get in, I'm not going to grumble too much. So uh, Phnom Penh Crown are in the red, and Cambodia Tigers in the black and orange. <laughs> Fifteen minutes played, still nil nil. Uh, Phnom Penh Crown have had a few chances. They've started quite brightly, uh, and now they've got a corner. Now, one thing that's hit me so far is, without too much crowd noise, you can really hear the players when the players are shouting at each other. We're just into added time at the end of the first half and Phnom Penh Crown got a free kick on the edge of the box. If ever a game needed a goal, this will be it. Half time here at the RSN Stadium and it's still nil nil. A uh, pretty scrappy game, but I'll keep saying this I've paid 56p to get in, so you get what you pay for, I think, at this level. Phnom Penh Crown have had the more chances, but obviously finishing and uh, final ball's not been great. Um, yeah, I'm hoping for better in the second half. Uh, stadium, a bit of a pig to find it. Between me, the Tuk Tuk driver and Google Maps, we got there in the end. Uh, actually, my Tuk Tuk driver is actually waiting in the car park. He's going to come get me after the game because uh, we're a bit far out. There's not really like any other Tuk Tuk ranks or anything nearby. So he's actually going to wait for me, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'm going to go back in for the second half, which is hopefully going to be a big improvement, but I won't hold my breath. <laughs> Thank you. 
54 minutes played and uh, Cambodia Tigers just taken the lead out of nowhere. Uh, guy cut in from the wing, curled one into the top corner. 1 0. Crowner back in it, 1-1, one, one. corner into the box, low header into the corner, and we are level, 1-1, one, one. Uh, 56 minutes played, so uh, Tigers only had the lead for a couple of minutes. Having some camera issues, so I missed the second goal, Tigers are 2-1 up again, uh, guy was played through, uh, just got, guy was played through, just ran on to it. Uh, chipped it over the oncoming keeper from about 10 yards out. 2-1 uh, the Tigers, half hour to go. Oh, that was a big chance for Crown. So we're into the uh, last 10 minutes now and it's still 2-1 to the Tigers. Uh, again, Crown turning the screw a little bit, and uh, yeah, 10 minutes to go, still 2-1. Here we go, six minutes to go, and the crown of equalised, 2-2, two -two, good hit, uh, into the corner. I think that was their big chance. One and truly blowing it. Uh, I think the ref's going to blow up any second now. 2 2. Made it back to my room. Uh, finished full time there, 2-2. Uh, wasn't the best game I've ever seen. I mean, the Thailand league isn't really great, but compared to the Cambodian league, uh, Thai league looks like the Bundesliga. I mean, outside of those four goals, the play was pretty turgid. Uh, I mean, on the plus side, the stadium was okay. You know, it was close to the pitch, which is more than I can say for a lot of the games that I've gone to this year. And the tickets were ridiculously cheap. 
I think it was about 56p in sterling. Um, but yeah, just not, not a great atmosphere either. There was very few fans. Uh, and the fans that were there, there wasn't like an ultras group. In Thailand, you get a lot of ultras and they're banging the drums and they're making noise all game. But apart from when the goal was scored or there was a close chance, the Cambodian fans were very quiet. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching this video. Uh, nice to do something a little bit different, go and look at a different league in a different country altogether. Uh, please like and subscribe and I hope to see you again soon on the next video. Goodbye for now from Phnom Penh.